It's time! You ready? You ready? Well, there have been a lot of seminal UFC moments inside the world's most famous arena, and we are back at Madison Square Garden tonight, should be. Who gets that shining moment in the world's greatest arena? I experienced it. I know how it feels to walk out of that octagon at MSG Little Championship. Will you get that moment tonight? Great posture control by his opponent. Ooh, what a punch. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, beautiful job by him there. Maybe the opponent was expecting the straight punch, and he goes to the hook. Mike Tyson used to have some of the best hooks in boxing, and this young man tonight is throwing him with that type of intensity. Nice counter right hook there. That was a thudding leg kick. Wow! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Boy, Ty Plum. Whoa! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. job defensively there to block the strike by Johnny Eduardo. Oh, nice high kick. He is all about that left kick to the body. Eduardo gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Ooh, what a punch. Nice elbow in the clinch there up top by Lee. He blocks the punch. Eduardo gets the tie clinch here. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Look at him dig that body shot right up through his opponent's third. Oh, nice punch there by Eduardo. Big leg kick. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I had time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. And I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, nice jab. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. All right, so no surprise. Once again, we find ourselves here in this clinch situation. We'll see who can advance. Who's going to be the person to dictate the pressure? going to control the engagement from this 50-50 position. Now he's got the Muay Thai plot. Oh, collar tie. Oh, that big knee, knee there. That knee hurt him. Both of these guys going all out. 
high action fight here. Huge shots there. Final second to round one. Left hand punch to the flinch. Ooh, big shot lands. All right, so a huge round for him there. His opponent will need Motrin tomorrow. Uh, a lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure. And when he was doing that, he was carrying his hands low. And his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over the side of his guard. Credit to his opponent for finding this shot, but really bad on him for not really making the adjustment to stop him. Kicks up a little bit better. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? All right, second round underway. Big kick lands. How good is that right hand? Man, he keeps on coming with these shots to the liver, looking to buckle him once again. Certainly buckled him earlier in the fight. He knows he's hurt there. Oftentimes, it takes just one to get his opponent down to the canvas. What a punch. Big leg kick land. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Right hand punch with the clinch. Way to mix it up. Unbelievable elbow land. Oh, is he a good counter? Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Big knee to the body. Point time, Plump. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the... Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. So, fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Checks the leg kick, and he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's gotta feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. Nothing feels better. Oh, he eats a knee. Man, these knees are really starting to do a lot of damage to his opponent here tonight. And there's another one for good measure. Oh, single collar tie here. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Oh! Big punch land. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Now he's got the Muay Thai club. Oh, big head kick. He's trying to get the knees going. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. One of those strikes has opened up Johnny Eduardo. Trying the flying knee there. Oh, eats a knee to the head. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, Johnny. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Eduardo goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can get a respite here. Single collar tie there. Oh, that's a good strike there by Edwards. And they separate. Nice 
one, two there. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Well, they made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point. Whoa! And now he's got that tight clinch. Eduardo gets hit with a kick. What a round. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. You ready? You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. And that one certainly found the target. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Muay Thai plump. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Eduardo gets the tie clinch here. Nice head kick. Got the single collar tie. Now he's got the Muay Thai plump. Nice placement there on the left hook counter. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And this dude's cashing chips. Oh, nice lead the head forward there. Great punch landing with so much power. Immediately gets the underhook. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch. Oh! He's out! Wow! What a fight! Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Lugliotta has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 24 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud